Hello friends and welcome back to the Cigars channel. Today me and Billy are back to show you the Cigars of the Month for September. So Billy, what you got for the Cuban Cigar of the Month? So the Cuban Cigar of the Month for September is the Cuaba Tradicionales. Now this one comes in at four and three quarters of an inch long with a ring gauge of 42. Now, as you can see by the Vitola of this cigar, the ring gauge is going to change throughout the entirety as it will be thicker at the start and it will slim down sort of as you get towards the final third. The strength profile on this one is medium to full and we'll get into the flavor profiles and the notes that I get as we get into the cigar. What about yourself? What Wonderful. is the New World cigar of the month? So this month I have the Podomo 10th Anniversary Connecticut Robusto. Now this one is going to be a medium strength cigar. This one comes in at 5 inches long with a 54 ring gauge. So the Reserve 10th Anniversary is blended using tobaccos that are carefully hand-picked and have been aged for a minimum of 6 years. So the cigar I'm sampling today has an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper and it has a Cuban seed Nicaraguan binder and filler. So that's quite unique, I think. Mm -hmm. So obviously I have already cut and lit mine, but that's only because mine has a slightly longer smoke time as opposed to Billy's. But yeah, uh, we'll get down a little bit further and then we'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so we have come through the first third now and I have to say for the Podomo, the burn's a little off, but the flavors do make up for this. It started off with this really nice coffee sweetness. This sweetness kind of turned into like a, a mixture of sweetness and bitterness, like a typical coffee. For me, they tend to, it has like that balance between the bitter and the sweet, which is mm -hmm. why, why it stands out to me. Then I got a little bit of like a sort of a bread sort of taste or a toast mm -hmm. to it. And then on the back end of that comes a nice black pepper. So it really balances out that sweetness, that bitterness and the pepperiness, which nice. I think is, is wonderful. Uh, it produces a thick and creamy smoke. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but especially when I take a draw, a very thick and creamy smoke. And the draw was absolutely perfect for myself. But yeah, what about, what about the Kuaba? Perfect, sounds pretty good. Uh, for the Kuaba, uh, in terms of construction, Surprisingly to me, the draw is pretty much bang on. It's, it's, it's almost perfect. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. It's sort of that kind of, you need to work a little bit for it, but it's not so much that it's kind of like breathing through a straw type thing. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I have noticed the burn is slightly off. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It did correct itself, but it seems to be going off a little bit again. Um, Smoke output on this one is is very good again. Um, you get quite a, a plume of smoke on each draw. Um, in terms of flavor, for me, I'm getting a lot of earthiness uh, with a slight sort of citrus note. And to me, that citrus note is almost like an orange peel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not one that's sort of overwhelming. It's not something that's constantly on the forefront of your palate. It's kind of in the background, but it kind of complements the earthiness quite, quite nicely. Um, on the retro for this one as well, it kind of introduces that little bit of white pepper, which again adds a little bit more depth to the cigar in my opinion. So it's working pretty well together, um, not really any complaints sort of as of yet, but I mean, I'm pretty sure. So this, far so good. So far so good, yeah. Let's uh, take it down into the, into the middle third and we'll get back to you very shortly. Awesome. So as you can see, we are now well into the middle third of the cigars today. And for the Kawaba, the citrus note is much more noticeable now. I would say that there is that sort of earthy mustiness towards the finish of the cigar. Um, and again, the retro on this one is that pure sort of citrus orange peel. It, it hasn't changed all that much from the beginning to the middle third. Uh, and I can't really see it changing all that much going into the final stages. I can see the intensity kind of rising slightly but I don't think there's gonna be all too much difference be between start and, start and end. Okay. Um, how about yourself, how, how's yours going? So for myself, the coffee and black pepper still play a huge part in the flavor profile for this particular cigar. I can see why this cigar is described as having, or, or as being the champagne of cigar wrappers, and that's because it's got like a sort of champagne-y taste. Okay. And it's just, th that sort of like spirit, spiritesque sort of taste just really supports the flavors on the forefront of the cigar and it's just that's super super nice on the retro hell for this cigar i actually found that there's a little bit of caramel too which also surprised me because usually with retro hell in my past experience 
I've had a lot of bitterness or like a, a very like sharp sort mm -hmm. of flavour note, if that makes sense. Yeah, for me it normally brings out quite a lot of pepper in cigars. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. exactly. But on this one, it's quite a sweet retro hal, which is really nice. So far, so good. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this down to the final third and seeing where it takes us. So just quickly, just on the construction of the cigar, I mean, yours looks like it's held pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the burn has actually evened itself out pretty nicely. Again, the draw hasn't changed all that much. It's kind of opened up to become sort of a very enjoyable, relaxing smoke. You're not gonna to work too hard for it. How about yours? Is the construction stayed true? Is it still? I'd say construction's perfect. The mm -hmm. burn was a little bit iffy before, but it's now evened out. Well, I say evened out, it's, it's, it's getting there. Mm. But um, <laughs> yeah, draw, draw is absolutely perfect. Yeah, another thing I've sort of gone for on this on this uh, shaver cigar. So if you ever have like a torpedo or anything like that, I like to do an angled straight cut. I mean, once you do it straight, for me personally, it kind of just lobs off the end and kind of destroys the overall look of the cigar for, for me personally. So I like to kind of keep that integrity and kind of put it at an angle because it opens up the surface. That aperture is quite a, a little bit bigger. The surface area is nice. So it gives you a little bit more sort of mm. airflow, if you like. So just a little tip, yeah. just in case you kind of not too sure what to do when you get that sort of pointed end. Talking of the shape of the cigar, that Vitola is actually one of the hardest for cigar torso doors to roll, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's hats off to them. I mean, I, yeah. it's very, I've, I've, as we've mentioned before, tried to roll just a standard Parejo cigar and it's pretty much one of the hardest things I've ever had to try and do. So hats off to the guys over there in the factories, etc. It's a, a real art. It really is. So we are down to the final thirds now, and I have to say for myself, the Podomo hasn't actually changed in flavor or uh, strength at all. I think this, ultimately, it's a very nice cigar, and I think that there's not too much complexity. So there's, there's that sort of sweetness and the bitterness and the black pepper that all play around really well on your palate. But this is also a very easygoing cigar, and I think that this is ideal. Say you've got a get together coming up, if you've got some mates and they want to smoke, but they don't necessarily smoke in general, then this is a really ideal pick for them because it's not going to blow their heads off mm. and they're going to like the flavor profile to it. But yeah, um, overall, I've no complaints about this cigar. I think this is really, really pleasant cigar to smoke. What about yourself? Perfect. Yeah, I mean, same sort of story with mine. Uh, the Kawaba for me, the flavor profile throughout the entire thing are quite consistent. I wouldn't say they change all that much. You get a little bit of bitterness here, than here and there, but the overall sort of earthiness, the mustiness, and the citrus notes on the retro are the ones that kind of stand out to me uh, as a whole. Um, I would say medium strength at most, personally for myself. I wouldn't say that this is one that's gonna really sort of knock your head off or anything like that. I would say that sort of mid-afternoon, sort of them 30 minute breaks here and there that you may get throughout your day, these may be one of the most perfect smokes to go for. Um, as I say, not overly time consuming, pretty easy going, constant flavors. Um, again, not something that you're gonna have to think way too much about or anything like that. So yeah, overall thoughts for me, again, really, really good. I haven't got any complaints. The draw, the construction as a whole, uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, flavor profile, constant no complaints again the complexity of cigars they definitely have their their, their space in the day um for me if you kind of you've got 20 30 minutes spare a nice easy go and smoke is something that i would then pick out and for me this is one that definitely i will i will pick out in future awesome well i think in that case we're going to sit back and enjoy them until our fingers burn uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> if you are interested in these cigars, the links will be down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the latest content. Like this video and as always, stay safe and happy herfing. Peace.